Oh, hello, boys and girls. How's everyone doing? Good. Go ahead. Caesar and I thought we would wrap up chapter 13 and get started with chapter 14 today. So we were going to take the, well, we just did take this quiz over chapter 13. Actually, it was a quest, not a quiz, not a test, but a quest. So we thought we'd go over it with you so you could get this information one last time. Sound good, Caesar? All right. Yeah, let's fire up about learning. Hey, it was missionaries who tried to convert Native Americans to Christianity. They were one of the first ones to head out on the Oregon Trail. We didn't talk about the Santa Fe Trail, which headed southwest. Remember Zebulon Pike? He mapped a lot of that out. The Oregon Trail, that headed northwest. To cede means to give up the Mexican Cession Territory. Mexico just gave us that territory. Uh, fur trappers were one of the first guys, again, to pave the whale for the Oregon Trail. They made a lot of money hunting beavers in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, most travelers skipped over the Great Plains because it was not very good for farming. 49ers were the ones seeking gold in the California Gold Rush in 1849. And Manifest Destiny is the belief that America should extend from sea to shining sea, from the Atlantic to the Pacific. True or false, the Great Plains were covered with fertile soil, excellent farmland. No, that's right, that's false. That's why we skipped over and headed to Oregon. Manifest destiny, America should extend from the Atlantic to the Mississippi River. No, that's right, Caesar, it was the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic to the Pacific. Next one, some of the first settlements and forts the Pacific Northwest set up by fur traders. True, that's true. Travelers on the Oregon Trail had access to plenty of fresh water. No, that's right. Water was an issue. That's false. 13, Texas was an independent country from the United States for about a 10-year period. True, that's right. It was a Mexican colony that declared and fought for their independence. God, it was its own country for about 10 years before we added them into the United States. 14, Texas was brought in as a free state. No, that's right. It was a slave state. When we won the Mexican-American War, Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, California, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico. True. And we brought in Texas with Oregon. We got Oregon from France. No. That's right. We actually got the Oregon Territory from Britain. Mormons went to Utah to escape religious persecution. True. And most gold seekers, those 49ers, most of them became rich and prosperous. No. That's true. That's false. Most came away empty-handed. And what most likely led to manifest destiny? Well, Mexican-American War. When Santa Ana made himself a dictator of Mexico and Texas declared independence, and then when Polk got Oregon from Great Britain, this was the urgency we needed to bring Texas into the country, which led us to fighting that war. Once we won that war, manifest destiny achieved. This quotation, I am determined to sustain myself as long as possible and die like a soldier who never forgets what it is due to his honor and that of his country. Victory or death. That's right. That's somebody at the Alamo, a brave soldier who gave his life for the independence of Texas. Remember the Alamo, my friends. Why would we go on the Oregon Trail? Well, fur trade, missionary work, free farmland, all that stuff. What was so hard about it? Well, there wasn't any clean water. You had to get there before winter. Disease, dust. Hey, why did we want to add Texas to our country? Well, we wanted to grow more cotton. We wanted to spread slavery, make more money. Manifest destiny. What do you think Native Americans think of it? Some great poems you guys did because, again, they've been trampled on all of American history. Enslaved, Pontiac's War, being told where to live, Bacon's Rebellion, Framed at Boston's Tea Party, Fallen Timbers, War of 1812, Indian Removal Act, Trail of Tears, Westward Expansion. Shameful what the United States did with Native Americans. So again, chapter 13, we were moving west. And that kind of leads us into chapter 14 because that new territory we got, are we going to have slavery in this new land or not? That's the question that becomes the topic of the day. And slavery is the topic of the day. United States can't put this issue off any longer. It's going to rip our country in half. Southern states believe they have the right to make their own slavery laws. Northern states are ready to abolish slavery. Can't agree on it. Eventually, Abraham Lincoln's elected president and the South leaves from there. 
So what you guys are going to do, chapter 14, you're going to read it. You're going to answer these questions by Friday. I narrowed it down to 10 questions for you. Piece of cake. All right? Now, as far as today, what I want before the end of today is that you watch this video, what you're doing right now. So the first question, did you watch this video? Yes. Number two, chapter 13 was all about America moving in what direction? West. That's right. So you'll just type West. Number three, chapter 14 is all about the issue of slavery leading to what? The Civil War. That's right. We're coming up to that Civil War. And then the fourth question, what is the secret password Lazdog and Caesar gave to you at the end of this video? This again, my friends, is to ensure that you're watching it. The secret password is unicorn. Caesar, one more time. What is the secret password? Unicorn. That's right. So again, when you get to number four on this one, which I want by the end of today, secret password is unicorn. All right. We reviewed 13. We were moving into 14. These chapter 14 questions, try to get them done by Friday. This end of 13, start of 14, check in I want by the end of today, Monday. All right. Secret password, unicorn. Season anything else? No. All right. Say goodbye. Bye-bye.